Okay. Uh. So. I have another story to tell. Um. Is it a good story? No, not really. But, um. This story is about a lady named Mary Mallon. And Mary Mallon was born in 1869 in Northern Ireland and uh, she immigrated go. she immigrated to the US at age 15 and lived with her uncle and aunt and um she worked as a as a maid for a little bit but then later became on became a cook Anyways, why am I telling you the stuff about Mary Mellon? Well, fuck. No. Um. Well, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what Mary Mellon's all about. Mary Mellon. Uh, oh. In 1990, she was in Ma Mamro Mamaronek, New York. Uh, and she got hired as a cook, and within the first two weeks of her employment, she, uh, not she, um, oops. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, yeah, within the first two weeks of her employment, somebody got, uh, Infected with typhoid. She peaced out after that. In uh, 1901, she moved to Manhattan and got another job as a cook. But, um, you know, that family got sick and the laundress died. How do I deal with this guy? Um, and yeah, so she, she peaced out. She peaced out again. How the fuck do I do this? Oh wait, do I have rubber bands? No, of course I don't. Okay. Um. How high can I actually throw? How far does this go? Okay. What I do is do this. And then, how far? Eh, eh, eh. Okay. Was was thing? Oh yeah. So and um. So after the whole Manhattan thing, uh, she got another job as a cook in 1904, and was married. I'm not married. <laughs> Hired. Wow. She he was uh, hired by a dude named Harry Gilson. Um, within the week, um, the servants got sick. Like four, four to seven of the servants got sick with typhoid. Um, luckily, no one in the family got sick because the family, the family. Um, the family lived in a different building from the from the servants, so, so yeah, so okay. everybody's fine. Oh, well, not everybody. The servants aren't fine, but yeah. Um, and yeah, so they're like, Gilson was like, "What was going on? Like, how did this happen?" So he hired an investigator to figure out where the typhoid came out. Um, they found nothing. So, yeah. And then, again, Mary peaced out. And got a job as a cook again in Tuxedo Park. And then two weeks later, <laughs> after working... After working uh, as a cook there, um, the laundress had to go to the hospital. Because uh, she, got, she got the typhoid. Um... And then, um, in 1906, she got hired 
by a man named. Uh, I'm here to save you. Hey, Follow me. He's here. Charles Henry Warren in Oyster Bay on Long, uh, Long Island. And this is where, like, all the rich people Follow are. Me. Hey, 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 you're free. Free. Wait, Wait. Oh, I'm so on. tired. Can we take a break soon? I'm here to break he you out. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, it's the richer and richer. Yeah, I'll just keep, keep that in mind. And, um... Wait. Hold on, everyone stop. stop. Hold on. Why is he stopping? Oh, wait. I forgot to make something. Yeah. Anyways, um... What was, what was I? Oh, yeah. And then, uh... Fucking rich, rich man, Henry... Rented out a house... In Oyster Bay. For the summer. For him and his fam. And, um... <laughs> Yeah, later later in the little vacation, um, I think it was six, six of the eleven people, um, six of the eleven people that was in the house or in the family, whatever. I I don't know why I did that. Um, they got they got sick with the typhoids. And you know, like again, like I was saying, this what your this was a rich area, so that's like very Come with me, like it, it should not happen in 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 this sort of area. So yeah, people were freaking out, and the landlord of the house was like, "Fuck, I can't, I can't rent this house out because." Now it has a bad reputation. And so he hired an investigator. How? What? Oh, wait. Ooh, I don't know what happened. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I made a boo boo. I made a boo boo. But I also forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> um. What happened? What? Oh. So, vacation house turned to a nightmare. Landlord was like, I. The reputation, rep, the reputation of my house is ruined. I'm so sorry. Can I? I'm, af I'm afraid he might shoot my friends. Um, shit. I can't. He's gonna shoot down my friends. Hold on, what if... Okay. <laughs> uh... And so, the landlord hired a investigator named, uh... George Soper. And... Yeah, and this guy, he's like a, uh, a expert on, like, these types of things. Um, something like that. I, I, I don't know, but, you know, what the hell? Stop it! Oh, okay. But, um, uh, he looked for where, you know where the out outbreak might have came from. So he looked everywhere in the house, like he looked in the toilet, he looked in the Everybody, um, yeah, it's time to get free. pipes, and he couldn't find anything. So, yeah, so he, so that was the thing. Um, oh yeah, it, you know, oh by the time the- I am so bored. This guy next to me is really bored. He smells too. Jesus Christ, okay. Um, but yeah, but like, you know, when the typhoid happened, um, Mary peaced out, so. So, uh, yeah. But, um, but when he found out that the cook, uh, Mary, worked in other places where the typhoid had broken out, he's like, huh, I should probably talk to her. You know, um, and yeah, but you know, again, because Mary pieces out, 
every time the outbreak happens. Okay, that was weird. Um, leg. I want to get out of I got to stretch my legs. Yeah, come on, come on. So yeah, like because she fuck. There we go. Ooh. So yeah, so Soper like had a hard time like finding out where she was cuz you know, she would just leave. That's scary. Um Okay, that's fun. Um, yeah. So yeah, it, it was hard to, for Soper to track down Mary, but luckily for him, there was an outbreak of typhoid um, at a something uh, somewhere. Ooh, hold on, let me look at my. <laughs> Okay, so Avenue Park, there we go. Avenue Park. There was an outbreak going on in Avenue Park. So... So he went there to investigate. And, um... Hold on. I want to get more rubber bands. And so... What happened is that um, two of the servants at um, at Park Avenue were sick, and unfortunately, the daughter of the family died of typhoid. So, yeah, and guess who was the cook for that family? It was good old Mary. And so, Soper was like, "Hey, Mary." You, you you get you gotta stop giving the typhoids to the people, you know. And Mary was like, "Bitch, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm fucking healthy." And yeah, she was like, she she was really healthy. So so yeah, so her giving typhoid to people wouldn't make sense because she was perfectly healthy. So, Soper was so determined uh, to prove that Mary was the cause of the outbreak. So, he started to do some like really creepy shit. Like, um. Like, he would break into her house to try to steal some samples of her. Like, uh, her piss, her. her shit, like her literal shit, and some blood. Yeah, and it, it just got, like, so out of hand that, like, Mary had to chase him out with a giant fork or something. I don't know. But, yeah. And so, and because, you know, uh... Okay. M Mary was... Break you up. Didn't want to cooperate with him. Um, oh shit, hold on. Didn't want to co cooperate with him. Soper decided to, like, look into, um the last five years of her employment. I'm almost made a boo-boo. Okay. <laughs> and he found out that, um... Yeah, okay. So, and then he found out that, uh, seven of the eight families she worked for all contracted, um, typhoid. Even though she was okay. So, what that means is Mary was an asymptomatic carrier of the typhoid. So, yeah, so because she didn't experience any of the symptoms, it was like, this is bullshit. I'm not, I don't have typhoid. So. Oh, 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 please don't die. Okay. Oh, wait. What was I saying? Okay. So... I am here. Uh... 
Yeah, so like, yeah, Marie, Marie, Mary was like, yeah, no, I, it wasn't me. So, so yeah, um, and you know, if you're wondering, like, well, how did she pass, uh, the typhoid to other people? Well, um, Oh my god, okay. <laughs> the doctors have theorized that, uh, she probably didn't wash her fucking hands before she cooked, so. Let's get you out of here. Yeah, that happened. Um. Hold up, wait here. On. I don't know why we're stopping. I don't know. So yeah, so then the New York city health department was like, Yo Mary, you gotta stop cooking. Cause you're passing all the typhoid. And Mary was like, No! Fuck you! And... And... Hey, let's get you out of Had her restraint. I'm here to save you. At a hospital. Willard Parker Hospital. Yeah, that's where she was. Yeah, like... What was that? It was it was kind of messed up on how to restrain her because I think like somebody sat on her. <laughs> I completely forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, like how they re like I think somebody sat on her to restrain her. But yeah, and well that was a dumb move on my part. Wait. Oh, yeah, hold on. I could go for a sandwich right now. Well, we gotta get out of here. Come on, let's get out of here. My tummy's growling. But yeah. Come on. But yeah, like she, she's at the hospital. She has to give. Let's move on. Okay. Um. And yeah, she was forced to give samples. Uh, and what they found in her shit was uh, typhoid bacteria. Sort of like, okay. Wait. We're stopping. Come on, I don't know why you, we're stopping. You, you, you fucking have the typhoid. And, um, they suspected that, like, the... Where it was from. Like, the source was her glob from her gallbladder. So they're like, hey, Mary, do you wanna... Do you... Okay, so they were like, hey, Barry, do you want to remove your gallbladder? And Mary was like, no, I don't want the typhoid. And to be fair, in her defense, uh, back in the day, oh, uh, Back in the day, uh, removing the gallbladder was actually very dangerous. Um, at the time, and it, it, like, it can, like... It can lead to death, so that's why she didn't want to do it, especially when she thinks that she's healthy. Oh, more? Okay. So, yeah. Um... <laughs> And so after that, they, uh... <laughs> so after that, um... That's cool. They had her quarantine on the island called, uh, North Brother Island, I think. And... What's really fucked up about this island is that, uh, they, that's where they put, like, all the people, the people with, like, the diseases that were, I guess, uncurable. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> Was he just stuck in collision? Is that is that why I didn't see him? Okay. Whatever. Okay. Oh, uh, fuck. What was I saying? 
Um... Yeah, okay, so this island. This, yeah, so it's, <laughs> that's where they put all the people with the uncurable disease at the time. So, yeah, so like, you have leprosy, you're on this island. You have typhoid, you're on this fucking island. And, yeah, so, and she, this, yeah, so this is where Mary was, and she was, con she continued! She continued to give samples. This story is all over the place because I am so distracted. Um, um shit. Oh, fizzy pop. Can I make more? Yeah, okay. Um... Uh, uh, yeah, so, very continued to give samples in this island. And I think that was like all in, um... 1907? Yeah, 1907. Um... But then later, Mary was like, hey... I'll stop cooking if you let me go. And they're like, okay, cool. cool. Bye. And so Mary peaced out. Again with... But, like, without a fucking craze, so... Yeah. Um... I'm here to break you out! Let's go! I'm more running than I expected. So, yeah. So... Later... Um... I think it was like 1915, I think. Let me double check with my notes. Yeah, 1915. There was an outbreak at a hospital. 25 people were infected and, tw and two of those people died. Yeah, and so Sopa was like, well, this is so familiar. So he looked into it. And he found out that there was a cook named Mary Brown. Mary Brown. And you're like, well, who's this fucking Mary Brown? Well, I'll tell you who's this Mary, this Mary fucking Brown. Mary fucking Brown is actually Mary fucking Mallon. <laughs> she changed her name so she could uh, get a job as a cook. And guess what? Um... She's been cooking ever since she got released. Oh, I forgot this one tidbit. Um, when she was at the hospital when they restrained her, <laughs> Mary like fucking admitted that she almost never washes her hands. So, yeah. And so they're like, so New York City of Department was like, all right, we gotta take you back. So yeah, so. So, Mer Mer uh, Mary was back at fucking shit. Your, your, your vision is so fucking long. So, um. Oh, yeah. So, she got quarantined back. I, God damn it. She got quarantined back to North Brother Island and was in isolation for 23 years of her life. And that's really fucked up, in my opinion. Yeah, like. Like, I'm not saying Mary was, like, a good... Well, I don't think Mary was an awful person. She was just stubborn. I think that's what it is. She was just stubborn. And, like, I honestly don't think she was, she was you know, infecting people because she was, you know, malicious about it. And, yeah, she did kill people, but it's not like she intended to kill people. Like, she just wanted, you know, to cook. But yeah, like, like, I'm not trying to defend Mary, cause like, you know, she should have listened. You know. But at the same time, I don't think she deserved to be put in isolation like that. Cause that's just, I don't know, I think that's a bit much, in my opinion. Can I blow you up? No. Wait, can I? Yeah, I can. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Fuck, get up! <laughs> wow, is there no way to, like, 
grab onto that ledge. Okay, well, I've, I've, <laughs> I've been on this store for way too long. Um, okay. But yeah, so it, she died of ammonia alone again in isolation at age 69. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> and her body was cremated and was buried somewhere in New York. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with the place. I just know it was somewhere in the Bronx. But yeah, so... Yeah, that's the story of, uh, Mary Mallon. I hope you enjoy it. I'm sorry if I told the story very poorly. This, uh, this game is actually quite difficult to play while talking. Um, so, yeah. Um, but I'm... You know, I'm still planning to make another video. Whether or not it's gonna be Odd World is uh, debatable, just because this game is just so fucking difficult. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the story, and uh, I guess I'll see you next time. I guess I, I don't know. I mean, yeah. Okay. Bye.